for a third suspect. It all started when a man who was asleep in his Nanticoke home was awakened by two of the suspects. Eyewitness News was first to tell you about that investigation on Sunday. And tonight, our lead eye team reporter, Andy Mahalshik, has much more. He's live in Nanticoke with the details. Andy? Well, good evening, Nick and Candace. Imagine this, being awakened from a dead sleep in the early morning hours by two intruders, two strangers, and coming face to face with them. Well, it happened to a Nanticoke man Sunday morning, and that's what launched this entire investigation. Well, today, he talked with us about that ordeal, and you might be surprised about what he had to say about it. And I was awoken by two people in my house at around maybe 5.30, 6 a.m. Eric Bieski talks about his scary wake-up call Sunday morning. He was staying at his grandmother's home on East Noble Street in Nanticoke when he says William McDowell and Erica Bowersox broke in. I now know when people say about fight or flight. Um, I don't know. I just, my instincts kicked in and uh, I got up and, and screamed, you know, get out of my house. He chased both down the street. They ran out the side door here. Um, so I, ch I, you know, gave pursuit uh, in my bare feet. Um, I chased him up to the corner and um, down actually pretty close to the Nanco police station, ironically. What did you say to that guy? Honestly, the truth is that um, this guy had problems, he has drug problems, and it's, uh, it's really sad. And um, I know a lot of people that I went to high school with, and uh, it's a plague on not only our area, on our country. And I said that you have problems, um, and that I hope that he gets the help. Bieski restrained McDowell for about 15 minutes until police arrived on the scene. Now, police searched his apartment on West Union Street, recovering items they say were stolen from more than 50 separate burglaries and break ins in the Nanticoke area. Bieski got emotional when he talked about what he did just minutes after the incident. And I'll be honest with you, the first thing I did when I got home, my grams got an altar upstairs, um, and I got on my hands and knees and I prayed for him. You know, I hope he gets the help he needs. I hope she gets the help he needs. And anyone else, um, this was all fueled by drugs. Now, McDowell and Bowers are being locked up tonight. Police are still looking for this man, Nicholas Jemilowski, who they say is a person of interest in this ongoing investigation. More arrests are expected. Very quickly, heard by Esky's voice cracking. He could barely talk. He said he screamed so loudly his adrenaline started to rush. He actually strained his voice during that incident. Reporting live outside Nanticoke Police Headquarters, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News. The emotional stress at that moment, unbelievable. I, Anthony, uh, Andy, thank you. Nanticoke Police uh, want to hear from you, by the way. If your home or your business was burglarized over the past couple of months, they just might have some of your items.